justice He rides like the wind Young Duke's gonna get him Cause he's fighting for bread I was just going to apply for a job. Sorry, son. My deputy just went down there with all the men we need. Marshal, I guess you got me. I wasn't mixed up in that gang. I was trying to help you. You turned fool, I know it. Take a look at this. What's wrong with that? It might be funny to me that every time this gang organizes a rodeo, their own men win all the first prizes. As soon as you look like an outsider's going to win, you get sick. There were three he's even died from it. And arrest him for that, Marshal? No, maybe not. But it's mighty peculiar that when these uh, outsiders fall off in them tough bronx suffering from snake bites, eh, I tell you, it just ain't natural. What do you want me to do? Get snake bit? Now, my idea is for you to trail over there and sign up for the rodeo. I'll come along after and do some private investigating while you work in with the gang. Sounds great to me. When do we start? Right away. Fair enough. It's getting pretty hot for us. New York Times, the law, figured out there's something crooked with this whole rodeo business and starts investigating. Now, I've decided we'll make our next cleanup right here in Dalton. Head for the border before something happens. We'll stick up the next stage from the mines, grab the rodeo receipts, and clear out. When do we start? Tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. 
disastrous, son. If anything happened to this Rodeo, nearly all the money in this valley is tied up in it. So we've just got to keep it honest. You mean to say these people have tied up all the money in the valley on a proposition put on by outsiders? Yes, every cent. They think it'll bring people in prosperity to Dalton, and they're all mighty proud of this little valley. That's why I'm offering you the job of deputy sheriff. I figure that with a man like you representing us, they they won't dare to pull any of their tricks. Well, I appreciate your confidence in me, Judge, but I couldn't accept. It would interfere with my plans. Plans? What plans? Uh, my plans to enter the Rodale tomorrow. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, young man. So am I, Judge. Good day, Miss Carter. Better be careful, son. A lot of men have lost their lives mixing up with this thing. Oh, I don't think they'll try anything today. By tomorrow, I may have this thing figured out for you. And I hope so. like a ringer to me. Yeah, we got to do something about it. Now, I don't want to pull anything too rough unless we have it. Kent, you take the boys up to the cabin and the rowers will get them up there. Just work over him gently. Enough so he'll be out of the running tomorrow. Uh, leave that to us.
know, Weston, tomorrow's going to be a big day. Now then, if you want to throw in with us... Sheriff, the gang just jumped me up at the Spanish woman's house. And I got a hunch that if you go up there, you can pick up some of the gang that were mixed up in that stagecoach holdup yesterday. Yeah? Well, you don't look to me like you'd be in any fight. Who are you talk? I got some prize money for you. A lot of money there, Judge. Yes, we're doing pretty well. Fifteen, eight thousand dollars today and expect more tomorrow. That floats to $30,000 in this bank by tomorrow night. $30,000? You're taking an awful chance, aren't you? I'm still guarding this bank, young fella. Oh, pardon me, Sheriff. Thanks, Judge. Hello, Miss Carter. Tom Weston, a man from Utah, is next up. 
I've got to leave, Marjorie. The receipts are in by now. I've got to take them over and put them in the vault. All right, Dad. I'll be in later. Trying to pull him, and now he's riding the Bronx. We've got to get moving. We clean out the bank and get over the line. What about me? That's for you to figure out.
Nice work, son. Come on, boys. Take him out. Boy, you got him red-handed. Yes, and that's not all. Here's enough evidence to send that gang up for murder. Whenever anyone interfered with their Rodeo plans, they stuck one of these needles dipped in snake venom in the saddle. And if the man died, why, they couldn't prove anything on him. I know there was a mystery about this, Summers. By cracky, it took you to figure it out. See, Miss Marjorie's like this. He had to play up to that gal so he could get in with the gang. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll have to forget it. Hey, young fella, how about that deputy sheriff job? Sorry, Judge, but I can't accept. That interfere with my plans. Plans? What are you planning now? Well, Dad, you see, he's promised to stay away from these beautiful senoritas. And we've got to plan our... our honeymoon. Oh. 